you're on this new show, Whiskey Cavalier. Mm -hmm. it, it's this big, fun, action-oriented throwback television in a way, mm -hmm. and and it's great. And and I started looking at your history a little bit, and, you know, with this, with Mile 22, with Walking Dead, and I think you may be the most badass woman on <laughs> on the screen. Like, I mean, it must be exhausting. Your version of your <laughs> <Am I? laughs> it's like, when is she gonna just? be in a romantic comedy and she doesn't have to like <laughs> kill anybody, drive a car crazy, you know what I mean? The irony is that this is my version of a romantic comedy. And yet in the it pilot, is, right? you're like, you're yeah. beating people up, shooting people, rolling on the ground. I think that the, it was funny because I watched the show again last night and sort of. By yourself? By, no, with a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, be quiet, I'm watching myself. <laughs> no, um, I watched it and I thought, and I, it didn't really hit me how strong of a character Frankie is, um, but also how um, I, I guess I'm. I guess I'm just sort of finally absorbing that I do always play these really feisty women. It was funny because my parents. This is were news like, to you just now. It's almost news to me. Yeah, really? and it's just because I think I just naturally, I do naturally gravitate towards. Um, as soon as I started doing action, right. I felt so, I, I don't find it tiring at all. I find it so exhilarating. I think I have sort of an excess of adrenaline. So for me, it's a good thing to, to sort of tire my brain out by, by having a physical element to acting. I think with this show, you know, we, we're working, Scott and I, you know, we're in like every scene Scott of the show. Foley. Scott yeah. Foley and I are in every scene of the show. And the stunts can be so much to do, but then as soon as I start doing them, I just, I, I think that's what, I think most people would relate to that. You start doing something, you want to perfect it. Sure. And then uh, by the time you finish shooting the scene, you're like, no, can we keep going? I wonder if doing that much of that kind of stuff actually has changed your personality or your mindset a little bit. Yeah, I think I've always sort of had a hard time seeing. I remember when I finished university and I ran into a friend from there years later and she was actually just more of an acquaintance when we were at college and she was just like, we were catching up and she said, you know, I was always so scared of you at school. Really? I was like, scared of me? And she was like, you were so confident, you were this, and I was just, so my perception of myself was never, I think, what other people's perception of me is. So then I end up in these roles where I'm this really, you know, even like Frankie or like Maggie, where you really take the reins and you take control. And I know I have the capacity to do that in my life, but I don't ever sit back and think, yeah, I'm gravitating towards this thing where I'm going to dictate and call the shots. And so I'm then informed by the roles and 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 my experience in them. And it, and it, it inspires me because I feel all the time like I'm not able to do a thing. And then I do it and I'm inspired by by the achieving of it. But it's really funny. My aunt found all these emails that she had printed out for me because I used to write my family really detailed emails about the journey. And this is when I was in England and they were in New Jersey. Okay. But I was so struck because only, it was only two days ago she sent me these emails that were from whatever it was, 15 years ago. It was like a time the capsule. Thing, the capsule, yeah. And I was, even in these letters, I was like, I actually said, um, I've been here for, uh, I've been here for a week and not much is happening. I just had an ER audition and six movie auditions. I was like, not much is happening? <laughs> Are you crazy? That's like, so I just this, this kind of like hunger and impatience. But it was so funny. And my family at the time, I remember them being like, I'd be in LA for a few weeks and then I'd get, I didn't feel like enough was happening. So I'd go back to England and audition for things. And they were like, stay still, just go there and stay there and just go through the process. And so I've always, that's, I guess, to come full circle to the yeah. excess adrenaline thing. I just, you know, jumping on a plane was nothing. And I just, just, let's go, let's go. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.